Hi guys, Brendan from All Around Oz. Uh, just a quick rundown on the pros and cons of DC to DC charging versus alternator charging um, to charge your auxiliary systems in your cars. This is solely my opinion. Um, what I've been doing for years, never had a drama get great life out of my batteries. Uh, 10 years ago, with battery technology the way it was, uh, alternator charging, fine, simple, quick, easy. Turn the key, main batteries charge, alternators up, auxiliary batteries charging. Very simple. Nowadays, it doesn't cut it. You need 14.8 volts plus to take maximum advantage of your AGM and deep cycle batteries that you're running your auxiliary systems with. 14.8 volts, alternators just don't, go, don't get close. And in these days with their smart alternator technology, some of them don't get the 14 volts. Um, my opinion only, uh, we're running the C-Tech DC to DC charger in our car. We run it really close to the batteries. We run two batteries in the tub of the BT-50. You need DC to DC charging. You need 14.8 volts. Uh, my opinion, just from years of doing this, um, we get great life out of our batteries. We charge lots of things. We charge our drones, we charge cameras. You can have a look at our YouTube page for the power panel that we've got. We utilize all the power sockets in that panel constantly and our batteries last good. Um, yeah, as I say, that's my opinion. That's what we do. We run DC to DC charging, have done for the last um, six years now since our camper trailer days. Um, yeah, DC to DC, it's the way to go with the latest batteries, guys. Thanks for watching. Safe travels.